So July, I understand you're a YouTube cell uh, sensation phenomenon. Tell us about that. Um, so uh, a few months back, I actually posted a video that went viral, um, just kind of talking about um, immigration. So I am a dreamer. Um, so I've been in uh, Amarillo my whole life. Um, we immigrated when I was uh, about a year old. So this is my home. This is my country. Uh, so I definitely try to uh, represent the United States when I can and show people that as an immigrant, um, I love this country. And I've gone to D.C. to speak in front of Congress. Um, I've gone on the news and just on interviews just to let people know that um, we're here to work hard and I'm here to help people. That's that's the main thing, helping my community, giving back, and just being an all-around uh, good citizen. Well, uh, and you go by July. Yeah. Right? Is that yeah. just great? Well, let me tell you, your, your message uh, is a powerful one, and you're, you're a great spokesperson, and it sounds like your message, you've caught a couple of ears. How, how many, how, how big did that reach go? Um, well, so as far as the, the video, I think I got up to about 23,000 views and I've been posting videos on and off over the last six months and those have gotten a, a couple thousand views as well. Um, I even actually went to DC and spoke in front of Congress wow. um, and got How a chance that? to Um, nerve wracking. That was, that was one know. of the scariest things um, I've ever had to do. <laughs> just it, it, Even the place is just intimidating, you know, oh, going yeah. up the steps. I mean, yeah. you know. and, I mean just... I think just being in, in such a, a historic and kind of meaningful place the United States is, sure. just it puts you in awe. And then kind of just knowing that you've got 800,000 people that you represent yeah. um, is it's kind of a, it's a big responsibility. Yeah, it's a big responsibility. Yeah. So you've got to make sure that, that you know what you're saying. Well, and because it is a hot topic, yeah. you know, right now, um, I imagine you've received support. Yeah. And I imagine there's other, I mean, if it went that viral, uh, yeah. I'm assuming that it all wasn't positive. Oh, yeah, and I mean, I, I had a lot of people that um, on one end were very supportive and, and they were they were helping me out and doing saying whatever I needed, they, they would help me out with, which is great. And then I did have people that just didn't um, understand the situation or maybe they're not fond of the situation. Sure. That, that again, they, they put out uh, some comments that are hurtful. Um, but one of the biggest things that I, that I had was actually people asking me, hey, I didn't know that it worked that way, yeah. or hey, I'm, I'm not trying to be rude, but why haven't you tried to apply for citizenship or, or done this? And I, I go oh. into the process of explaining, hey, there's, there's not a path, and I understand that what happened was, was wrong, and my, I didn't really have a choice in, oh, sure. in the situation. How, you were hauled again? I was, I was about a year and a half whenever we immigrated. What would your message be to two audiences? One to other dreamers out there, you know, what, what would you tell them? You've been through quite a process, and I want to ask about your Washington, D.C. trip, too, but, you know, what's your message to a dreamer out there who's worried? You know what, I, I think um, as far as what dreamers are, are facing, it's it's stressful. Um, make sure you're taking care of your health, because that's, that's one yeah. of the biggest things. It's the anxiety and the fear it, it gets to you, but be, be vocal about your status. Be vocal about... Yeah. Um, about what you've been doing. I mean, many of us to even be counted as, as DACA recipients and dreamers, you, you have to be somebody of good moral character. You have to be paying your taxes. You mm -hmm. have to be doing something positive and mm -hmm. let people know that. I mean, just we're, we're not we're not here for, for a free ride. We're here for just the ability to, to work and be a part of our communities like we have been for the last 20 years, like myself. Sure. And just get out there, guys. Let, let everybody know that we're here to make a positive impact in the United States.